Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the steps on processing floral. Um, one, you wanna make sure that you have a container that has some water. It does not have to be all the way to the top because moisture creates mold within the flowers. Um, two, you wanna make sure that you're giving a good sh uh, sharp cut to the stems on the bottom. Um, most of them will be bound with a rubber band. You just cut that off and then we're gonna give a little clip, but I don't do that until they are ready to go into the water. So um, thank you for 50 Flowers. They sponsored all the flowers that we're using today. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous blooms that come direct from the farm that are located in California and shipped to your doorstep. So um, right now we're gonna go ahead to the first piece, uh, or I guess the second piece, because we've already got the water in the container. We are going to cut the rubber band um, and this gets messy. So make sure that you've got some room in your house or wherever you're at. Uh, we're gonna strip off some foliage from the bottom. And just do that, make sure that we have enough removed so that they are not gonna be under the water because what happens is if the leaves are under, under the water, then they start creating bacteria faster and then that's how they die off faster. So we wanna make sure that that does not happen. Um, again, just kind of taking each stem and luckily these don't have a whole lot of thorns on them, which is really nice. Some are not so lucky um, and they have a million thorns on them. So a little bit of foliage at the top is okay. So again, I'm just gonna do that. And then what we're gonna do is, you know, I can, I usually take a couple stems at a time and I just cut it at an angle. And what that does is that helps it absorb more water. Um, like I said, <laughs> it makes a little bit of a mess. So this vase is a little bit too short for these roses, um, these spray roses. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come in here um, and I'm gonna transfer over some water so that they have a short enough vase. Or you can have a low bucket, whatever you have accessible. Um, you know, Ikea has some really amazing little white buckets that are, you know, trash cans that turn into buckets. Um, and they're inexpensive, which is nice. So again, just cutting at an angle. We're gonna get these ready. They're gonna get nice and hydrated. For um, the video, I actually did process them yesterday so that they were, they were nice and firm. But if they come in a little bit soft, just again, give them a fresh cut, let them drink, and then they'll perk right back up. And so now I'm gonna bring back the tall vase. Um, to process the thistle into here. So you can see, I can kind of measure that. It's it's good. We try to keep as much length on flowers as possible because, um, you know, if you want a tall design, it's good instead of cutting it all off. So they ship this one in plastic. We're gonna go ahead and take that off. We're gonna cut the little zip tie here. And this one, it has a whole lot of little blooms down low. So a lot of times, um, if I don't want them to be in the container and I'm designing that same day or the next day, I'll pop them off and put them into a little container to keep them hydrated. Um, for today's purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in here. And that's what I used to make my boutonnieres, my flower crowns out of. Um, any, If you have any compact little centerpieces, maybe next to a lantern or anything like that, you can reuse those, so don't throw them away. Um, again, I'm gonna cut it at an angle. Um, and at my flower shop, we actually just let everything go on the floor. But at your house, you might not want to do that. So you probably want to have a trash can handy. So just, you know, that is the process. Every, every flower is a little bit different. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to answer. Um, I know 50 Flowers on their website, they have a ton of information as well. So after you get everything in water and everything processed, it's time to start pulling your recipes. And we'll go over that next. 